close. What's going on, party people? It's Yeti, and this is Yeti Machine Co. On this page, I like to do videos of me wrenching and uh, just shop shit, but uh, this episode's a little bit different like the last two. A few videos on our trip to Born Free, Texas earlier this year. If you haven't seen them, do me a favor, go back, check out episodes one and two. That'll get you caught up to where we're at today. This episode consists of day five and six, the majority of which is of us camping and uh, just having a blast. So if you could do me a favor, like this video, go subscribe, and uh, without further ado, here's episode number three. All right, so day five. We were stoked. The next morning we woke up. We got lucky. We actually got a really good campsite uh, for finding it in the dark. We were actually camped near the back of the ranch, the back of the property where, where Born Free Texas is at Yellow Rose Canyon. There's plenty of room to kind of sprawl out. We unloaded Kyle's bike, which had been broken down since day three. Um, and so he was finally able to, to get it out of the back of the truck and start wrenching on it. After we got it unloaded, I uh, hopped on uh, Ribsfit's mini bike and took a little little tour of the, uh, of the setup. Um, got to rip around and uh, kind of see where everything was, check out where the bathrooms were. We were really close to the bathrooms and showers and whatnot. It's like wide open prairie, like fields, um, a lot of grass, you know, good, good maintained trails. In fact, in the morning, you could actually see uh, all of our pet cruising around in the water truck, keep the dust down, wetting down all the trails. Born Free Texas has a lot of cool shit going on. I mean, they've got a full bar. They actually had a tattoo shop. In fact, Ripset was up there getting zapped, getting a uh, little keepsake for the trip. I ripped the mini bike over. There was a, a big, big spot with vendors and a swap meet. Just past the entrance, there's this big bowl, and that's kind of where the event was taking place. There was a big stage there, um, a lot of vendors set up there, all the show bikes, obviously. That area is pretty cool. It's actually an old crater. Um, matter of fact, long time ago, Willie Nelson actually played at the Yellow Rose Canyon before Oliver Peck and those guys took it over. Yeah, I rode that mini bike through the whole lineup uh, over by the show bikes. Everyone was kind of getting set up in the morning. Went and just got the lay of the land. After checking out all the bikes, went and hit the shitters real quick, and then uh, ripped her on back to camp to go eat some glizzies and probably load back up on some cold ones. Chef Blake, what's your special secret sauce? Hot dogs. <laughs> we actually made some friends in camp, which was cool. You know, everybody that we've met on this trip was awesome. Like everybody we ran into. So it, it was great. And uh, yeah, we pretty much just spent the day hanging out at the campsite and drinking beer and trying to bang willies on the mini bike. Woo! Kyle's bike, once we took it apart, or once he took it apart, we found out that he had actually destroyed uh, not only the stator, but the rotor, the magnet that spins around the stator, which sucked because that wasn't one of the parts that we picked up at trips. But luckily, Kyle was able to find it brand new in the box. Uh, I think it was a cycle electric rotor uh, at the actual swap. All in all, he was able to get his bike back together and get it fixed, which was awesome. And everybody that, there was a lot of people that kind of cruised by the camp and helped out and, you know, you know, let us borrow tools. I mean, we didn't know them from Adam and they still let us borrow their tools. So it was, it was pretty badass. You know, as the day went on, um, we had more and more libations. It was inevitable that we were gonna get into some dumb shit, and that's what happened. So one of the neighbors had a Grom, and uh, you know, a couple drinks, people start uh, saying who can be faster, you what have you. We're gonna drag right from, from I'm not here. raised, I'm we're hammered gonna, drunk, I'm, you're here. going. Blue tent. He'll race you, he'll whoop your ass. I'll race? Yeah. What are you, what are you, what are you, oh, you fuck, you get smoked. Well, it's a 125 bike. or well. Yeah. I, that's your bike down there, right? Yeah, a little white one. Fuck it, I'll lose to you, I don't care. Shit, I'll ride right there, you ride. Let's go. Let's go, let's do it. Right, Fire them up. All right, this is what we're going to do. Do it for Riverside, Blake. Chug your beer. There you go. Come on, Blake. I'm fucking drunk. <laughs> yeah, I like a couple times, there was a couple little drag races across the uh, across the campsite, but uh, 
in the end, there was one final drag race, and that was uh, my boy Blake racing uh, Jeremy, who we met. And uh, unfortunately, it led to a bit of a pileup. That was close. Oh no. It went right over the top of it. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I need another beer. Ooh, I'm not fixing that. Uh, Blake won the race in my opinion, but unfortunately he paid for it with his ass. Hey, hey he, he won that, that, fucking, hey, that, he won that fucking race. I don't want to hear no bullshit. I didn't hear no bullshit. <laughs> I give everybody a shot. I don't give a fuck. That's what we race for. They were racing, hauling ass across the uh, across the campsite, and I guess the sun was in Blake's eyes allegedly. We were like, hey, we need to go. the second time. I was like, this is no good. Third time, third time's a charm. We should be going that way. I can't see shit going into the sun. And I'm fucking hauling ass, almost hit that fucking thing of logs, and that's why I went that way. I was like, oh fuck, trying to stop, and then I'm like, oh fuck, Eggie's bike. Look, 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 look. It was so bumpy and those fucking brakes don't work and I was just bouncing and trying to stop. And Holy fuck. I'm hey, fucking the mini, hey, the mini bike still runs. Yeah. He tried to dodge a pile of logs and instead uh, ended up running the mini bike into the front tire Hecky's bike and going ass over tea kettle. Yeah, I mean, the bike is great. There's no marks on your fork either. Yeah, you're good, dude. Okay, but I know it's bad. Did you get it on video? No, because I fucking was like, look. You see the aftermath. <laughs> he flipped. He did a flip. <laughs> Why did he hit his bike? This is a big fucking field. <laughs> oh my god. I was like, oh god, no, oh no! <laughs> oh. That was such a concern. Holy shit, that was dude. Such a concern noise. Dude, dude, he smashed dude, the piss out of heck. Dude. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I gotta stop, dude. I gotta stop. Don't do that. I'm so glad everyone's okay. But now that we know that everyone's okay, I'm glad we can all laugh at this. I know. Oh god. Oh, that little bit of that thing so runs. Look at him. Yeah. Ripping. Uh, I can't believe I just hit Hector's bike. Dude, I can't believe you flipped over. No, no. You didn't hit Hector's bike. You fucking annihilated yeah. Hector's bike. Dude. Uh, didn't die. Didn't total the mini bike. Fucked it up pretty good, but didn't break it beyond repair. Um, and uh, he actually, I ended up putting him on his ass pretty much the rest of the trip. I think he might have sprained his ankle. But yeah, all in good fun. Like I said, nobody, nobody died and got hurt that bad. He was okay, so of course we celebrated and drank more beer, had more fun. I got a little hammered and I got lost actually in the dark. Walking around all the bikes. Look at this shit, Born Free Texas, baby. We walking around, Born Free Texas. It's a party, it's a party. Look at that thing, look at that headlight. But eventually made it back to my tent and uh, ended up the day. So the next morning, hopped on the mini bike, still ran after everything. It fired up, we had to bungee cord the headlight back on, and uh, but it, it still ran. <laughs> Jesus. Amy, if you see this video, I'm sorry, but I'm on vacation, so I've been smoking cigarettes a little bit. Good morning. We're on day two here. Actually, well, it's our day two, but this I think is technically day one of uh, Born Free Texas. It's gonna be a good day. Got some mini bike races to go check out. Um, had a good time yesterday. I might have had a few too many road sodas too early and uh, went to bed at like 8.30, like an old man. So today should be a good time though. Um, Kyle fixed his bike and he was uh, test riding it around the campsite, got it running. We actually, all of us hopped on our, on our bikes 
and rode down to the flat track where they were doing uh, circle track races and dirt track races. So we rode down there with some food trucks, we got more beer, got some food and kind of posted up there for the day. Uh, it was really dope. They had like chopper class, they had like a dirt bike class, they had a bunch of different classes for the dirt track racing. The Hell on Wheels guys, they put on a great show, a great race. Like Those guys were actually like dedicated dirt track racing and it was pretty badass to watch. Ribsfit actually did uh, did a boot race on his mini bike. So basically you got to put your boot on, hop on the bike, and then do a lap. Come on, no! ass over tea kettle a couple times and you know that <laughs> that mini bike was kind of a chinese cockroach piece of shit but it i mean it ran he just you know is in the poof dirt he is that chopper's falling apart oh oh i want to shoot oh you know he still walked away with like 400 dollars worth of prison parts for just entering the race which was which was awesome and then the drag racing was pretty much just run, run what you brung. So there was choppers, there was baggers, there's dinas, there's all kinds of people uh, under different levels of influence. So it was, that was a lot of fun. Dirt drags were were pretty rowdy. Uh, there was, in the end, it was a sportster that won. It was a hardtail sportster chopper. That was just a blast. I mean, it was pretty much like you were like right there, like right next to the bikes while they were racing, just eating dirt and, and having a good time. That was pretty much the day. It was just drinking beer, eating food, and, and watching the races, and it was great. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. I told you I would lose. Uh, oh, you go throw, throw, up, you throw up. We tried not to go, go too hard because we had to get up really early because we were actually doing from East Texas all the way to El Paso in one day. It was like a 750 mile day. That is it for uh, day two of Born Free for us. And this is gonna be our last day here. Uh, we're going to be heading to El Paso uh, tomorrow morning. We're packing up, but uh, what a good show, man. Big old party going on. But yeah, Born Free Texas was definitely worth the ride. The ride home is gonna be fun, and uh, I'll be recording some of that too. But uh, yeah, definitely a good time. So overall, man, Born Free Texas was 100% worth the ride. It was the longest I've ever ridden my bike, and uh, most of the guys that were with us, yeah, I can't say nothing, nothing else but good about that trip, you know, especially the event. I mean, obviously, the ride out there was, was a big part of it, um, but the event those guys put on was just awesome. So shout out to Oliver Peck and all the people over at Yellow Rose Canyon. Y'all are fucking awesome. Thanks for putting on such a great show. And I mean, and I didn't even see half of it. You know, most of the time I just kind of spent chilling at the camp and uh, kind of hanging around, but there's so much stuff to do. Um, and, and so much uh, land to just kind of run around on out there. So anyways, thanks for watching this one. Um, if you could do me a favor, if you like this video, go give it a like, go comment, go subscribe to my page. Um, there's this new thing called Super Thanks. If you want to support me directly, you can clip, click on the Super Thanks and uh, leave me a message, and I will gladly read those out loud for you guys. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Until next time. <laughs>